Jailbreak YouTuber Napkin Nate, a YouTuber with nearly almost 1 million subscribers, and then just suddenly disappeared, and it's been about a year since their last upload. Even on Twitter, it's completely barren. What on earth happened to Napkin Nate? Hey guys, Gopher Blocks here, and today we're actually taking a look at the sudden disappearance of Napkin Nate. But before we journey into today's interesting video, I actually really know we're doing videos just like this one all the time. So if you do fancy the video, then make sure to smash that like button and subscribe button don't forget about the bell icon as well and hey with all that aside let's jump right into it trying to get in here before it's even open might as well do the same thing right here we go it's like we actually get it in rob before it's even open Napkin Nate has nearly 1 million subscribers. Right now, he has 911,000 subscribers. And, well, at first glance, his channel is really well done. From his thumbnails to his banner, everything is popping. Everything looks very solid. And, honestly, from the view ratio as well, he was doing phenomenal. He was doing very well, especially for Jailbreak, a game that was kind of dying off with a lot of YouTube side of things. It wasn't really a game that really did well for views anymore. People were moving on from it, but he never did but about a year ago he completely stopped uploading even on twitter it doesn't even go till about 2020 so pretty much a lot of this is back in 2020 when the first pandemic started hitting everything and i think that is where our story actually starts to unfold it actually brings us to a point where we understand what really happened so let's dig a little bit deeper into napkin eight and we burst fired him to death. Where's the plane heist? It is the last updated heist. As soon as I said that, it. So a lot of what we're going to say is just based on theories and a lot of guesswork from a ton of sources from different people on YouTube. So keep in mind, a lot of this is just a grain of salt. And while we just await for actual news to finally come out, let's enjoy a little bit of our theory and see if maybe we might be correct. Nebkin Nate is a person who has been doing YouTube for a long time. And well, he's been focused on doing jailbreak content for a long time. He has been doing it very heavily, and he is known for being one of the bigger jailbreak YouTubers alongside Creecraft and many others. While that being said, most moved on whenever it just started dying out and people moved on to other games like Adopt Me, Brookhaven RP, or other games like Arsenal, and just kind of being a little bit more dynamic and moving forward, while Napkin Nate just focused on just playing a jailbreak. And this is where I find the key problem at, the massive problem I find with tons of YouTubers. They stick with one thing that works and never stands out from it, always sticking with that one thing that works and never moving forward. Well, okay, that's fine and that's okay to do. The biggest problem you'll run into instantly is burnout. Burnout is going to kill you instantly. Trust me on that, burnout is one of the worst things ever. And well, I think that was the first key to the formula. The second key to the formula was a lot of this disappearance started back in 2020. Now, if you don't know, 2020 was one of the worst years imaginable. And in that year, we had the pandemic, and I think this is where a lot of stuff started going down, where with the pandemic, it caused a lot of problems for him, and he had to move house. Now, with that being said, he has been moving a house and just kind of relaxing from YouTube, stepping back because of mental break, mental burnout, and much more. And trust me, when you do YouTube, you have a lot of burnout, you have a lot of mental problems, and by mental, I mean, it's just very stressful. It's just very a lot on the mind, and you just have to pretty much let it go. You have to relax and do things. And I feel like just trying to keep up with that YouTube algorithm, making sure all these videos are doing well, is stressful beyond all measure. So with that being said, I feel like this is all just a key to him kind of taking a break, him stepping back because of an issue with the pandemic and just kind of relaxing. I think that he will come back eventually. And I think that he will eventually come back, but I don't think he'll come back to jailbreak. I think like a lot of other YouTubers I've talked about, I feel like he'll move on to something else. He'll try and multiple different games on Roblox or entirely switching to another game in total. But I doubt he'll move on to another game outside of Roblox. I'm pretty certain he'll just stick with Roblox. We'd befriend a gorilla that lives out of his car. I mean, from the jewelry store. We're gonna rob the casino. Anyways, that's our video on Napkin Nate. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe button. Hopefully Napkin Nate is alright, and I hope eventually he will come back because I did like his content. Anyways, we'll catch you guys in another amazing and spicy video. Bye bye guys.